So the first favorites for the month of April are my new Sigma brushes. And I do not have any Sigma brushes. These are my first ones. I've been saving up and I am so, 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 so happy. You should have seen me when I got these in the mail. I was so excited. I got the Flat Kabuki F80 brush, which I use all the time for putting on my foundation now. And oh my god, it's just so soft and I absolutely love it. It's just, oh my god, I don't think I'm ever going to go to any any other brushes ever again. Um, the other one that I got is a Angled Kabuki F84 brush. And I use this for contouring. And um, I also use it just to blend out any spots of my foundation. Also for highlighting, um, this is good for that too. Um, in larger areas so soft I love how it's like a kind of a round angle it's not like a flat angle if you can see and it really really helps you get right in here and contour it's just so beautiful I love it um the next one that I got was the Sigma tapered blending e35 brush and I literally don't know how I lived without this brush I really don't know I am never going to buy another eyeshadow brush besides Sigma ever again until I mean unless something else pops up that's better than this or equal to this but honestly for the price and how well these work you can't beat it at all oh my goodness if you guys watched my birch box opening that I got, my first birch box that I got in the mail, I filmed a video a couple of days ago and it filmed me opening it for the first time. And one of the products in there was a kind bar. And if you hadn't heard of a kind bar, it's like a granola bar kind of thing. And I didn't think that they really made gluten free granola bars. And what do you know, in my birch box, I got a gluten free kind bar. Um, and so, in this month's favorites, here it is. I went to the store and I found it. Um, this one is Dark Chocolate Chunk and I also got a Vanilla Blueberry flavor. They were all sold out of the one that I had in my barge box which was like a pumpkin seed one which was absolutely amazing. Now I know why people ran out to the store to buy it but I, I really love these. They're all natural non-GMO. They have five super greens in them. Oats, millet, quinoa, amaranth, and buckwheat. And it says in the bottom, ingredients you can see and pronounce. So it's just, it's a really healthy snack bar. And the big seller for me was that it was gluten-free. And I have not come across a gluten-free granola bar yet. So I throw these in my purse, ready to go for a snack after the gym or whatever if I'm hungry. And literally, like, you can't get any better than this. Definitely one of my favorites. Alright, so another one of my favorites, which is nothing new probably to you guys, um, and this has been my favorite for a while now actually, is this e.l.f. cream eyeliner. And it's basically just a black cream eyeliner. I used it yesterday with the Sigma brush and literally this stuff does not budge. It does not come off your eyes at all. Like, even when I'm washing my face at night with makeup remover and everything, this is tough to get off. So if you're the type of person that doesn't like it to be tough to get off, then I wouldn't recommend this. But if you're going out for the night and you don't want this stuff to budge, like even when you're sweating or even if your eyes watering or whatever, this stuff does not move on your eye. I would definitely recommend this. It is so, so, so awesome and you should definitely pick it up. My next semi-big purchase that I made this month was I went to MAC and I found two things. This MAC Mineralize, Mineralize Skin Finish, I can't say that word. <laughs> this MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle is absolutely amazing. It is so beautiful and so, so, I don't know, shimmery and just absolutely amazing. The next thing by MAC that I definitely needed to pick up was this Pro Longwear Concealer. This stuff is absolutely amazing. My shade is NW20 and then I wanted it slightly lighter than my skin color because 
I wanted to brighten up under my eye area, but also conceal at the same time. So what I do is I do, and this, like when you take a pump of this, there's so much, you do not need a full pump. So I, it's hard to not do a full pump, but like I try to do like half of a pump and I put it on my fingers and I just dab it underneath my eyes and then I'll blend it in with a brush or hers and I'll do it up on my eyelids as well as a base and it just makes a huge, huge difference. It doesn't crease, it doesn't, you set it with some powder and you are set. You could just, I mean, it's such an easy little um, addition to your routine. I definitely am going to swear by this from now on. This is definitely my favorite. I never want to give it up. Another product that I've been swearing by this month is my Anastasia Dip Brown Pomade in Blonde. And this stuff will stay on your eyebrows for hours and hours. It won't budge. It makes such a beautiful, beautiful color. This stuff is amazing and I never want to live without it again. It's definitely my new favorite for my eyebrows. Anastasia, whatever you're doing, keep doing it because you make the best eyebrow products. So I had to pick up this next product when I saw it in Sephora the other day. And I'm so glad I did because now I have four new favorites just from picking up one little product. And what it is is the Too Faced Beauty Blogger Darlings Industry Insider's Top 4 Favorites. So of course I had to get it. I mean, I've heard of all of these products and I've tried the samples, but I've never owned any of them. So. What comes in it, it, look, it tells you, like, it's cute because it, like, tells you what each thing kind of does before you buy it, and the bloggers that recommended it. But what comes inside is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil um, Matte Bronzer in Medium Deep, and this is the bronzer that smells like chocolate. It is so cute. We get, I mean, it's an awesome, that whole kit was $20, I think. I think it was $20, and you get like four little sample sized um, products. This smells like chocolate. If you've never tried this, you are never going to go back to regular bronzer because mm, it smells so good. It doesn't really smell when you put it on your face, but it's, it's such a nice color as well. It's such a great little bronzer. So, definitely a new favorite bronzer. Um, the next thing in that kit that I absolutely, absolutely love is the Too Faced Shadow Endurance um, Anti-Crease Eyeshadow Primer. And you just get a little tube like this, but that was enough for me to sample it and me to go out and buy a bigger bottle. I would definitely recommend to get this Shadow Endurance because it makes your eyeshadow last so much longer. And basically you just put it on your eyelid before you put any shadow on, put your eyeshadow on top of it like you would normally do and it keeps your eyeshadow on all day, doesn't crease, nothing. It, it works amazing. The other little tube that I got in that kit was this Too Faced Primed and Poreless Skin Smoothing Face Primer. This primer works so well. It makes your skin feel so smooth and you can just wear it alone or you can wear it with some bronzer and blush and call it a day or you can put some foundation over the top of it or whatever and it makes your face feel so silky and so smooth. The next product that came in that kit is literally going to be my favorite, I think, forever. It's the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. By far, my absolute favorite mascara that I've ever tried. And that's hard for me to say because I hate a lot of mascaras. I am the biggest critic in mascaras. This stuff is amazing. And the brush is just such a cool shape it oh it just works so so well I'm gonna have trouble trying new mascaras after this one because oh my goodness like by far my favorite if you haven't tried this go out and try this because honestly it's like my top favorites of all time it's not even of the month of April it is like an all-time favorite I have to include my NYX soft matte lip cream this one is in Monte Carlo and this is absolutely one of my favorite all-time matte lip products it's definitely not sticky it's very creamy and I absolutely love it it stays on it does not wipe off it is amazing and I have it in a couple different colors but this one's Monte Carlo 
And last but not least, I have to include my 18 color Galaxy Chic palette. This is a favorite of this month because I've been using it so much. I This is another one of my all time favorites. I definitely can't live without this palette. If you don't have this palette yet, go pick it up. You can order it online on bhcosmetics.com. It is so cheap. I think it's like $12. You can always, like they're always having sales with discounts and everything. So go check it out. I mean, I'm sure they're having like a Mother's Day sale or something right now. So I would definitely pick this up. The colors and the pigments are absolutely amazing. It's baked, makes it so beautiful. While on the eyeshadow topic, I'm going to do a little bonus here. A product that I didn't like this month that is not my favorite at all and shouldn't even be featured in this video and that is this little eyeshadow palette by forever 21 and this one is like a pink a white a silver and a black color and I picked this up when I got the lip gloss and I would I wish I didn't buy it because I knew that I shouldn't expect much just like doesn't even barely show up like I can put the darkest color or the silver on my finger and like I mean it shows up but it's you have to like rub it hard and it's like I don't know it's just like a really weird texture to me like you have to put a ton of it on in order to see it and I mean for the price I guess whatever but honestly if you're looking for quality eyeshadow don't go with this one pick up a BH palette way better than this so that's about it guys so I really hope that you enjoyed my April favorites um, if you want to pick up some of these products I'm gonna have them all linked down below so definitely check them out I mean these are things that I swear by I use every day I absolutely absolutely love them and I think that you all should give them a shot so thank you